My name's Ben King. I'm the CEO of Quarry View Building Group. We're pretty excited to be here today on the Silbury School Project in Bucks County, Pennsylvania to see some of the progress and talk about the great things that are happening here. It's a passive house build, uh, which we're really excited about. Passive house design is a unique design feature where we're taking a building and making it as absolutely energy efficient as possible. And we accomplished that by creating an envelope around the entire building. That envelope extends above the building, extends under the slab, and it has certain milestones in terms of the types of materials that we use uh, and the construction methodology. We're very cautious not to penetrate uh, the exterior air barrier as much as possible. And the result is a building that is absolutely energy efficient and provides the highest degree of comfort for the inhabitants uh, of the building. We chose the Passive House route because we have a long history of being green and sustainable. We think it's important to be good stewards of our environment. And this design, really, this, this technique is state of the art right now. Uh, we think that this is going to be the first multiple person dwelling passive design building in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We're very excited about it. If you're talking about the cost of a passive house versus the cost of a non-passive house, you have to consider it from the perspective of, A, you're going to save energy. The secondary benefit is just the quality of life that the people that are living in the building. That's part of our outreach to families that are considering sending their kids here. So it's worth the investment for us. Any upfront costs to take an approach like this are mitigated in the first year. You've got the cost of energy, you've got the cost of human comfort and how that distracts us, but you've also got the cost of durability. So when you take a passive house approach and you end up with a more durable project, that project is gonna be around a lot longer. Corey View sent people to passive house schools. The construction methods that they proposed were better. The time frame that they proposed was better and the overall cost was better. And it was really helpful in getting um, Corey View on board early in the process, um, making sure that we are designing the way we're gonna build this. Passive house process is the key to success on these kind of projects. We have to make sure that all parties understand what needs to be done to keep a continuous air barrier through the project so we're not losing heat out to the outside all the time. What that means is a little bit of special training, a little bit of special coaching, very special detailing and careful craft. And then that gets implemented by Quarry View in the project so we hit the air infiltration rates that we were looking for. One of the things I really liked about this project is we got to implement some unique strategies in the design of the project, looking at both the delivery of fresh air, looking at the way that hot water is created in an energy efficient way and making sure that we have plenty of it. We were able to take some unique approaches with the uh, Ventacity ERVs to provide fresh air. We got to use something called aero aggregates underneath the building slab. So instead of taking a more traditional approach of just using gravel and a little bit of insulation, we were able to use a gravel that is insulative. Use a little bit more of it, put down one material that's toxic free, rather than gravel and blue board, which has some level of flame retardants and some toxicity in it that we really don't like. That aero aggregates product allowed a simple installation of one material, not two, and was uh, added to the energy efficiency of the project. So from a design perspective, um, there are a number of uh, facets that you need to consider. Um, how things are run, how the utilities are run through the building, how the building um, is being sort of insulated is a huge one. You know, you, you, they tell you to trace the line around it and don't lift your pencil. Sequence of build is critical. Um, and you know, how, how things layer together um, is the most important piece. If you go out of sequence, you're gonna start over and no one wants to start over. So some of the first steps we all have to take to uh, understand Passive House is to just get some very basic education through the internet. Uh, you could go to feas.org and they've got some introduction to the Passive House principles there. It takes a few minutes, but just by doing that, you're gonna get the basics of Passive House. It's our job as design professionals to have our clients understand the benefit of project approaches like this one and Passive House, and then delivering that level of depth of expertise when you start thinking about a passive house project, you really should um, start to understand 
The considerations, right? How the building is sited plays a, a huge role in um, its solar gain. How much glazing to um, wall space um, uh, for your volume is critical. Um, so if you're thinking that you're gonna have um, expansive views, you're gonna pay for that in some way or the other uh, when it comes to um, how you think about insulating the building. But um, being wise at the beginning um, about uh, and setting expectations I think is always a, a, a good first step. Um, but there are design professionals who do this for a living and it is uh, recommended that you at least consult um, and make sure that, uh, that you're thinking things through before you get too far down the line. And so when you look around campus and, and uh, you know, this has been here for a long time and this building will now be part of their culture for years to come. So if somebody's interested in passive house design, uh, we would love to be involved in the process. You can reach out to Corey View Building Group. We're very interested in helping you accomplish what you want to with passive building.